there are a few things that I think are important for the cancer patient to maintain quality of life um, and psychological well-being. One of those would be to um, have a social support network, having people who can help them both deal with just issues that come up like how am I going to get to an appointment when I'm not feeling good or who's going to help me take care of my kids. Um, there are also people that they need to have in their life who they can talk to about when they're scared, um, when they're thinking about death or when they're wondering if they're going to make it through the cancer. And they also need to have people in their life when they're just sad and they need to cry and they need to feel their feelings so that they can move on. I think the second thing that people need to um, start to get in their life after they have cancer is a realistic attitude. There are certain things that they have been able to do in their life and cope with and be strong through that they can't when they have something that is assaulting so many different aspects of their life. It's affecting their family life, their financial uh, uh, life, it's affecting the way they feel and the way they think. Um, and they have uh, fatigue. Because of that, they need to consider that they need to be flexible. That rules that they've had that have been rigid in the past may not be good right now. I sometimes tell people who have always been real strong and strong for everybody else that they're the oak tree. Uh, the oak tree in the middle of a hurricane often snaps and they need to consider that even though it looks weak on a day-to-day -day basis, the palm tree is the one that survives the hurricane. The third thing that people should um, get into place during a time that they have cancer that will help their psychological well-being is a balance between resting and um, taking care of themselves and letting other people do things for them that they may not have done in the past and also being comfortable getting back into their own life when they can. Doing things that they enjoy and not spending all of their time thinking about the cancer because thinking about the cancer has a place. They need to think about what they're going to do, how they're going to um, deal with changes that they have. Um, will they be able to function all the time um, and in the future? But part of their life needs to be simply living and experiencing their life that often they realize is very important and in some ways more important than they ever have because they're being confronted with sickness and death.